Welcome to Unheard History, the history you don't hear about in class. You have heard of the Great Depression, but have you ever heard of penny auctions? The first penny auction occurred during the Great Depression. In 1931, the Von Bonn family held the first penny auction. Banks were selling farmers land and farm equipment because they couldn't repay their loans. Typically, the auction started off by selling the farm equipment for around 5 cents. In today's money, that would be a meager 80 cents. The farmer community would show up at these auctions and ensure that the farmer could get their farm and equipment back for a very low price. If people tried to increase the bid, the farming community would let it be known that harm would come their way. This deep sense of community made sure that farmers were able to regain their farm and equipment for very little money. At the end of the first penny auction, the bank only walked away with $5.35. In today's money, that would be approximately $85, so not much for an entire farm and all its equipment. Across the Midwest, members of the farm community would show up at all of these auctions to ensure that the owners were able to get their farm and equipment back for more than a fair price. Banks eventually found a way around these penny auctions. In response to the bank's new way of selling farms, people protested to state governments, such as Nebraska, and were able to get relief from farm foreclosures for over a year. Comically, the government thought that a year would be more than enough time for people to be able to repay these loans. However, looking back, we know that the depression droned on for years and years, and as a result, people began to lose their farms once more. The Farm Holiday Association was an activist and militant farmers group. According to NPR, members of the Farm Holiday Association took various weapons of persuasion with them to these auctions, such as pitchforks, hunting rifles, and knives, and were able to compel the success of the penny auction so much that the auctioneers often stopped the auctions midstream. Members of the Farm Holiday Association began to threaten bank officers with harm at these auctions. Once FDR became president in 1933, he vehemently began trying to solve these issues. Thanks for watching. If you want to hear more unheard history, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Digital Learning Company.